is your pants and your eyes. Hey everyone, in this video I'll be ranking all chimeras on Team Wolf from weakest to strongest and please note this is my personal opinion and if you enjoy my videos please like and subscribe with your notifications on so you'll never miss another video. Zack, in my opinion Zack is the weakest chimera we've seen on Team Wolf because he has no feats on screen and he was crippled when we saw him, his abilities couldn't heal him so this is the reason why he's at the bottom of the list. Beth, Beth is also another chimera with no on-screen feats and she was another failure and nothing is known about her abilities. Donovan, Donovan has no on-screen feats and Theo didn't even consider resurrecting him when he formed his pack so he ranks just above the weakest chimeras because he's part Wendigo. Hayden, Hayden does not have any on-screen feats and she was easily incapacitated by Sebastian Valet when he was in his human form and she couldn't heal on her own after the attack. Noah, this one is hard because for the most part he's vicious when he loses control but he's never won a physical fight and he technically has no on-screen feats. Corey, Corey's only ability is camouflage and he doesn't have any claws or fangs to defend himself, he's never been in an on-screen fight but he was able to merge the wild hunt with the real world and that is a major feat. His encounter with Parrish was more of a beat down than a fight. Josh, Josh is a very powerful chimera and if he used his abilities in the right way he would be further up on this list. He can absorb electricity, one of the go-to weapons for hunters and he can also use it as a weapon in fights and most supernatural creatures can be incapacitated by electricity. Lucas, Lucas has Scorpion's Venom which can put victims in absolute agony and we've actually seen him in an on-screen fight where he easily defeated Brett, and didn't have much trouble against Scott, Liam and Kira in the same fight even though he eventually lost in the end. Tracy, Tracy Stewart is part Kanima and she fought Kira on screen. She held her own against Kira until Kira lost control and went berserk on her, other than that her only feat is incapacitating Scott, Malia, Styles, and Deaton at the same time. Anyone with Kanima abilities is stronger than the average supernatural creature. Belisco, Belisco easily incapacitated Parrish with his talons when he tried to take some of his power but Parrish wasn't in his hellhound form at that point and he also defeated Theo without much effort though it can be argued that Theo wasn't actually trying in that fight and he held his own against Scott for some time even though he lost and had to run away in the end. Belisco is at the second place because theoretically speaking his talons could steal the beast's power and he was by far the most intimidating chimera in terms of appearance. Theo, it was obvious who would be number one on this list from the very start, it has to be Theo. He has multiple on-screen feats and he is smarter than everyone that was previously mentioned and he's not afraid to go for the kill, we've seen him destroy Scott's pack, kill Scott in the process and he also killed Donovan and Tracy with zero effort. There's so much more that can be said about Theo but that will definitely be in a future video. Thank you all for watching see you guys in the next video.